with the aftermath of a night of explosions in the sky as Iran carried out its first ever direct attack on the country. The Israel Defense Forces say around 300, well in fact 330 missiles and drones were fired, but 99% were intercepted before entering their airspace. The Prime Minister here has confirmed the Royal Air Force was involved in Israel's defense and they shot down a number of Iranian attack drones. Uh, let's get more with our security and defence analyst, Professor Michael Clark. Good to see you, Michael. Um, what do we know about the scale and the nature of the attack from Iran? Because it was considerably sizable. It was. It was pretty ambitious, and more ambitious than most people thought they would try. We knew that something was coming, probably this weekend. You could, you could just feel the, the preparations rising. A lot of um, cruise missiles were seen moving around in, in Iran yesterday. A lot of drones were on the move. So everybody knew something was going to happen yesterday or and today but the attack when it came was actually quite widespread and probably quite difficult to organize because it came from different places so it was it was iran uh it was irgc republican guard uh, people in um syria mm. and iraq um it was uh, houthi rebels in yemen nothing from hamas in gaza they've got their hands full with other things but it came from separate areas and it involved drones um, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles, which are the ones that they will have wanted to get through. The ballistic missiles are the ones that can, are hardest to defend against, do the most damage. And so you can see that the Iranians were adopting Russian tactics here to try to overwhelm the defense by coming at it from different directions, overwhelm it with different types of weapons, so you have to use up an expensive missile against a cheap drone, create holes in the defense, and see if they could get something through of the, the idea, uh, uh, Israeli Defense Forces say 331, that's their official figure, 331 objects were thrown at them uh, in those uh, three hour period overnight. Let's talk about the defenses because we hear about Iron Dome, but it is multi-layered and from an Israeli point of view, it seemed to work. Yeah. The, uh, what the, the figures that the Israelis are giving is 185 drones, every one of them was taken down. Uh, 36 cruise missiles, every one of them was taken down, 110 ballistic missiles, of which they got 103. So seven ballistic missiles got through, and they seem to get through to the airbase, the Nevatim airbase, which is the, uh, the, the base from which the um, uh, Israelis launched their attack in, on Damascus back in uh, the 1st of April, exactly two weeks ago. So the Novatian base, very big base, three runways, lots of operations there, quite near the Dimona nuclear plant, incidentally. Um, and that base, in a sense, represented for the Iranians the place they wanted to hit to show that they were hitting back against the base where F-35 aircraft had taken off to hit their place in Damascus. So in that respect, um, they got something out of it, but statistically the uh, the israelis and their allies the uh, the uh, americans mainly but also the british french the jordanians were involved in this in this whole operation so israel and its allies uh, accounted for 99 percent of the incoming as they say mm -hmm. so that statistically is a pretty good performance but the iranians got out of this that that sort of vengeful um, uh, destruction, as they would claim it, of an airbase. They did some damage, no fatalities recorded so far, but certainly they got to the base and they damaged it. Let's just talk about RAF involvement. We suspected it, uh, the Prime Minister confirmed it. Uh, what would that have been like? Yeah, um, uh, typhoons, FGR 4s, uh, which are based at Akutiri in Cyprus, quite a long way away. And yesterday, the RAF reinforced, they sent more typhoons along with tankers. That's, that's a typhoon cockpit. Um, and they are, you know, are sort of multi-purpose aircraft. And they um, can carry quite a lot of things. They've got about a dozen ports on them, so they can carry a dozen different types of missiles that sort of strung underneath the wings and the fuselage. It's always said <laughs> that, that gives them the radar signature of an elephant. I mean, they're not very stealthy, but it doesn't matter in this case. They can carry lots of stuff. And last night, at least four, maybe more of them, were up along with the, the, the things that go with them, electronic jamming and so on. And they, they are normally on what's known as Operation Shader, which is the operation against ISIL, Islamic State, bases mainly still in, some in northern Iraq and some in Syria. That's what they do normally. But they were told, we understand, the Prime Minister sort of um, confirmed this in what he said, that mm -hmm. last night they were told, you know, if, if your Operation Shader um, flying involves you coming across any drones or missiles, take them on. 
And it looks as if they did. Um, the, he said we got s some, a number of drones. He doesn't say what the no number is. I've seen a number which I don't really believe are 30. I, don't, I, don't, I think that would be very good going if they did, because I'm not sure they carry that many air-to-air -air missiles between them. However, some uh, or a number is what the Prime Minister is saying. So it's, it's probably more than one or two. It's a few. <coughs> Excuse me. Michael, thank you very much indeed.